Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the Skyzone SKY-04X OLED FPV video goggles. Have some of the new coolest features. What are those? Let's find out in this video review. Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Ali Shama here and welcome to another video review. Today in this video I'm going to give you a complete review of the all new Skyzone SKY-04X OLED FPV video goggles. I'll give you a closer look, we will talk about its features and what's new in these FPV video goggles and then we'll go out and fly some FPV using this video goggles so I can give you my comments while using these goggles in the field. Inside the box you will receive your FPV video goggles, two face plates, one I have already installed, this is the other face plate, two different types of uh, foams uh, for the face plates, a very neat carry case for your FPV video goggles which you can use to carry your goggles securely and safely, two antennas, rubber duck antennas, a user manual and this 3M uh, tape which is a velcro that you can stick on the face plate for sticking these and you can easily take them on and off not only that but also a bunch of cables like head tracker cable a USB cable and an AV out cable with RCA connectors so let's talk about the most important thing the FPV video goggles itself and the features of these goggles what is new in these FPV video goggles first the new features of course these are the OLED FPV video goggles that offer very vivid bright and clear image the screen resolution in the video goggles is 1280 x 960 pixels these video goggles comes with a video receiver which you can remove take it off easily it's a new steady view video receiver that combines two images and gives you even better and clear image which does not distort that's what they claim now this video receiver is a 5.8 GHz diversity steady view receiver that offers 48 channels and different bands including the race band the other new feature that Skyzone claims that is the first FPV goggles that actually use the focus adjustment we have the IPD adjuster so you can adjust the IPD by moving them left and right but also they have provided these these two dials so you can adjust the focus and you do not need to use diopter lenses this is one of the coolest new feature in these video goggles to adjust the focus and get rid of using the diopter lenses another new feature in these video goggles are the use of these shuttle wheels so there's a new user interface totally newly developed user interface and instead of buttons now we have these shuttle wheels which makes it very easy to navigate through menus and select and configure all the parameters of your FPV video goggles. It has built-in DVR and you can start to stop recording from this button right here very very quickly. It also has a built-in head tracker. Right here we have a built-in fan for defogging the video goggles from inside and also you can use it as a cooling fan for the video goggles uh, electronics. As I mentioned that the video receiver, the steady view video receiver 48 channel 5.8 GSZ is removable. So you can basically remove it from here and install it at this side if you like. So having to have these two compartment means you can use aftermarket video receivers as well. Make sure they do fit here. Now uh, for instance I have the Foxeer Wildfire as aftermarket video diversity video receiver 5.8 GSC and if I take it off from this uh, you know base it actually does not fit in here. In order to fit the Foxeer Wildfire in the Skyzone SKY-04X FPV video goggles and to use it with these goggles you will have to take it out of this casing. Now basically when I ordered this one Foxeer Wildfire this came with this casing because I ordered it to use it with the Skyzone SKY-03 you know the uh, 03 goggles which does not offer you an additional or aftermarket video receiver so I had to order it with this base and it was inside this base 
okay the whole module and so i would just stick it right here at the left of the video goggles and use an av in cable to get the output uh, uh video out from the fox here wildfire now with the sky sko4x this is just a piece of cake and i simply love this because now you can use aftermarket uh, video receivers as well. Now according to my testing on these FPV video goggles, the built-in video receiver SteadyView really does a very very good job. However, still aftermarket video receivers might offer you even better video reception, faster switching and even more features and that is why you use them. So if you want to use the Foxier Wildfire and honestly speaking I love Foxier Wildfire. I've been using it with my other goggles and they are really much, much better than many other video receivers. So now, once you have taken it out of that casing, and it was very, very easy, basically, because all you need to do is uh, just, you know, pull it out. There was this little lock down there. Just pull it out and make sure to remove the fan as well, because it also have a fan. Now, uh, the video goggles, SKY-04X, do have this fan right here, and I believe it should be able to cool it down as well but I will still use this fan and stick it somewhere and now you can see how easy it is to fit the Foxeer wildfire in here okay it just fits perfect like it's designed for this SKY 04X and you might want to put the fan just like stick it somewhere and if you want to put this plate you will have to modify it like cut a hole here because you have this little joystick here on Foxeer wildfire that you use to uh, that you will use to configure and tweak the parameters and or do the auto scanning of the video receiver and now if I turn on the video goggles You can see the Foxier Wildfire also turned on. And now you can do all the tweaking using this little switch. This fan is also working, in fact. And as I mentioned, I would just stick it here. It will probably be a good idea to have a double cooling fans, you know. And it will provide more cooling and or defogging for the goggles. Probably it will help. So this is how you use Foxier Wildfire. You will have to take it out of its casing which is very easy, just be careful not to break anything, not to break any cables, and fit it right here. It fits just easy, superb, in this SkyZone SKY-04X, and it works very well. But do remember that you will have to select aftermarket uh, video receivers from the menu of SkyZone SKY-04X in order to get video out or video feed from this receiver. Otherwise, you will be watching the video feed from the steady view receiver. So do remember once again, use this shuttle dial right here, press it once, you will get into the menu and then you can select the aftermarket uh, video receiver and you will be getting the video feed from your Fox here. It's really, really nice and I'm very, very happy that I don't have to carry any bulky casing for the Foxier Wildfire. I now have the SteadyView video receiver, uh, original SteadyView video receiver, which works really superb with the Skyzone SKY 04X. And I can also switch and use the Foxier Wildfire anytime I want. Now, the question is if, if Skyzone would be kind enough to make both of the receivers work at the same time and turn these video goggles into quadversity FP video goggles. That would be simply next level. Down here, you have DC in port, head tracker out, USB-C cable for firm firmware upgrading. Um, once again, IPD and focus adjustment. Then you have HDMI in, TF card in, AV in, and uh, headphones out and you also have the on off button right here so this is it for the closer look at the fp video goggles and talking about its features now you know all its new features let's bring the video goggles out and fly something and see how they perform now the ishin atom rc killer wheel is flying on auto circles and i'm testing the fpv video goggles that is sky zone sk uh, 04x OLED and I can tell you just listen to this I can tell you right now I have a patch antenna I have to point it towards the plane so that I get nice reception but man man that is some clear image I mean with the standard definition 
FPV system, I am getting such a clear image. Hold on, let me just start recording. Now, it's recording. So, if I focus the, thank you. If I focus the patch towards the airplane, look at that. Beautiful, clear image. And IPD adjustment, autofocus, it's absolutely brilliant, man. It works really nice. Also to say that the original uh, receiver, built-in receiver, is doing a very, very good job. I was not expecting it to do such nice, clear transmission. So if I keep the, you know, patch antenna away from the plane, let's say just put it here, you can see my image is still pretty clear using the other uh, you know, cluer leaf or using the other mushroom antenna, the image is still very, very clear. And sometimes you see those grains coming, but immediately the image merging from two different receivers, like diversity, is, is giving you a very, very clear image right here. So to say, man, I am really impressed by the performance of the Sky Zone. FPV video goggles there. Absolutely mm, charming FPV video goggles. Thank you very much SkyZone for releasing this. Later I will show you some of the UI from uh, user interface of this video goggle so you can see how easy it is to navigate through menus and do everything that you want just like that. <music>